Hello everyone, today I am here to teach you how to make a quizzes set from a Quizlet set fast and easily. Before I get started, please do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons. And while you're at it, please leave me a comment. Okay, let's get started. Step one, open quizzes.com and sign in. Step two, click create, choose quiz, give it a name. This is going to be Spanish numbers. I'll just say numbers to save time. Hit world languages or whatever subject it is that you are doing. Hit next. Step three, click import from spreadsheet. Hit download template. After it downloads, open it, but actually we're going to ignore it for now. Step four, open the quiz set you want to turn into a quizzes set. Step five, go to the three dots. Go to export, select the terms and definitions, hit control C or right click and choose copy. Don't use copy text. I don't know why it doesn't work, but trust me, it doesn't. Step six, return to your spreadsheet that you just opened. This may seem weird, but go down to the little X and make a blank one and paste what you just did. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your terms, copy them, go back to the create a quiz tab and go right here where it's A3 and hit V, control V, in other words, paste. Okay, then step seven, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the answers, the definitions, copy them, go back, and not in, in B here, because this is actually you're telling what kind type of question it is. You're going to go to C3. You're going to paste it. Okay. Then what you're going to do is, this is weird, you're going to keep copying, I mean, not copying, pasting, but you're going to stagger a little bit. So you go down, so this is option two, this is option three, this is option four, and this is option five. And then what you're going to do is this excess stuff here, because you staggered it, see it's like a little stagger here, you're going to hit control X or, or cut, and then you're going to come back up and even it out. What it is, is option one is all the right answers. Option three, or option two, three, and four, and five are the wrong answers. If you do it this way, this is just a quick way to do it. Oops, I kind of did this one wrong here. Let me just stagger it a little bit better. Okay, now let's, uh, oops, let's try that again. Okay, step eight. In column B, make sure to select multiple choice for all of them. I just usually hit control C and then control V. So now this is all multiple choice. And then um, in column H, choose one. What that means is text for option one is gonna be the right answer. So I just control C and go like this, control V. And that tells quizzes what is the correct answer. Step nine, uh, in column I, you're gonna choose a time limit. Uh, that's up to you, whatever you think is right. Um, I'm just gonna go 20 seconds. Maybe that's too short or too long in some cases. Okay. And then finally, over here, link of the images. If you have some images that you want to show up in quizzes, you can put a link to them here. These are some sample ones. I am not going to do that. I'm just gonna delete them, but it's an interesting feature. Okay, at this point, save your file. And then I'm just gonna X out of here and go back, return to quizzes. Step 10, return to quizzes. Click on the upload part. Okay, go to downloads. Okay, select the file uh, that you just made, hit import. Okay, and then we're almost done. 
Um, step 11, hit save. Choose a title image if you want to. Um, choose a language if you want to, what grades you want for. I'll just say seventh through seventh. And decide if you want it public or if you want it private. If it's private, you can still use it and play it with your students, but um, no one else can find your set. And then hit save. And you have made your set. Now, um, the final thing I want to point out is if you go here to start it, start a live quiz, hit classic or whatever you want. One thing you want to do is make sure that shuffle um, answer options is chosen, which it is here, because remember all of your answers were the first choice and if you don't shuffle that means the answer is always number one and that's no fun. Okay, I hope that was useful. If you did it before, please hit the like button and subscribe button and leave a comment. Make sure to return and check out some of my other videos with useful tips. Until next time, see ya.